Hello children, this is Maniksha. So dear children, today we will learn in details about the nationalism movement in India. How the nationalism movements began in India and what are the causes which led the formations of nationalism movements in India. So before that, my dear children, in the introduction part, I would like to tell you that in our previous classes, we had learned in details about the nationalism movements in European country. So the nationalism movements in European country, it inspired the nations who are staying around them or inspired the whole world with the revolutions that was happened in European country. So dear children, here in nationalism's moments in European country, it really inspired the Indian society too. Because the peoples of European society, they started the nationalism movements because they do not want to be under the control of monarchy system. So in order to establish the democratic structures in the society, they started developing the making of nation state in European country. So here the development of nationalism movements in European country, it inspired the Indian society also because most of the concepts, most of the strategies that was adopted in these European struggles as well as the nationalism movements in Europe that was been adopted in the nationalism movements in Indian society. Because most of the ideologies, most of the concepts, our leaders, our freedom fighters, they took from the France struggles, they took it from the European struggles and they implemented in the nationalism movements in India. So dear children, in India, the growth of nationalism movements, it is a anti-colonial movement. Why it is called the anti-colonial movements? Because the peoples of Indian society, they were going through a very hard time. They were having great difficulties, great problems. And that is why it is a struggle which is called as anti-colonial movements. The peoples of India, they started discovering their unity in the process of having struggle with colonialism because during the colonial period the Indian societies were oppressed and suppressed because it is the British peoples who came to India in the uh, 16th centuries to do the trade activities and when they came to India to do the trade activities finally they became the ruler of the nations by doing many kind of uh, what tricks or by doing or adopting different kind of politics or different kind of uh, wrong politics in the society they become the ruler of the nations instead of that they came here as a trader so these british peoples they came here as a trader but they become the ruler of the nations here so dear children here during this colonial period in Indian society, the Indian peoples were having lot of difficulties and due to that we see that there is a struggles movement that was began in India. So in India the first struggle movement is called the Sipai Mutinity that was began in 1857 which is called by the historians as the first struggles, uh, the first independent struggles movements, uh, which was begun in 1857. So in 1857 itself, we see the seed of nationalism movements that was begun in India uh, with the Sipai mutinity. But later on, 
due to leadership, uh, due to lack of leadership quality, due to communications gap, due to not supported by the uh, what Indian ruler, the Sipai mutinity or the first freedom struggles was having failure here. So dear children here, in the first struggles of uh, this Sipai mutinity which had begun in 1857, it is showing us the dissatisfactions of the Indian people because here we see the Indian peoples they were having uh, dissatisfactions towards the British rule because the British rules was very very oppressive rules which oppress the peoples as well as suppress the people. So already we have discussed here my dear children that the freedom struggle of 1857 was failure due to good leadership quality because there was no good leadership quality that is the reasons we learn here that the revolt of 1857 was failure here and successfully here the British peoples they were able to suppress the movements they were suppressed the movements because there was no good leader there was no good leader who will guide and support the movements and due to that the uh, freedom struggles of 1857 who was suppressed by the British earlier. So my dear children, in order to give the solid leadership quality in the nations, we see the leading role of the Co Congress party and the Congress party uh, has been formed in 1885 and uh, which is called the moderate phase and in this modernist phase we see the leaders who are having soft natures they are uh, the early nationalists who are having soft natures towards the British and in this moderate phase itself dear children we see uh, what the moderate phase leaders are doing they are approaching the uh, Britishers, appealing to them and demanding them to fulfill the demands of the Indian society. So it is a, a kind of reformations that means they are trying to reform certain rules uh, that was found during the time of uh, these colonial rules. So here in moderate phase the leaders they are going towards the Britishers they are having a soft nature and when they are having the soft nature they are appealing them and asking them to do certain kind of changes in the rule. So after that we see out of this congress party we see the coming of extreme phase. The young leaders they did not like the soft natures of this moderate phase. So they wanted to have a violent movements because they began to understood that when we have the moderate phase, the moderate phase is not going to do any goods or it is not going to bring out any good results uh, in the nations. That is what they wanted to do this extreme phase or in this extreme phase, the young energetic leaders, they are going they wanted to start the violent movements, they want to oppose the Britishers and they want to bring out certain changes in the society and that is the reason we see this extreme phase which was started by these young leaders from the Congress party. So dear children, as we understood the leading role of the moderate phase that was the prominent leaders like Dada Bhai, Naroji, Firoz Saha, Mehta all these leaders were having the peaceful approach towards the Britisher and their demands is to reforms as well as adopting the reforms in the constitutional in a very peaceful manner and when they were doing it in a very peaceful manner we see that another group who came into being that is known as the extreme phase we see the extreme leaders who are very young and energetic 
who said that we need to change the uh, attitudes towards the Britisher because uh, if we are not changing our attitudes towards the Britisher then the results will be less effective. So in order to change the face towards the Britisher we see the leaders like W.C. Banerjee, Surendranath Banerjee, Ras Behari Ghos who had a different approach towards the Britisher. They said that we need to have the violent movements and if we are not having the violent movements then we are not going to get good results that is what we cannot get freedom from the British. So dear children here we understood that at the initial period the Congress uh, who was formed in 1885 was having a very effective role in leading the nations towards the nationalism movements which had begun in the uh, period of 18th centuries uh, sorry the 18th centuries so dear children we understood that the congress party who started these nationalism movements and within their leadership quality we see we understood that the nationalism movements which got its momentum or it became very very active all throughout the freedom struggles in which India got its freedom from British. So we see that it is the Congress party who has the leading role in the nationalism movements of India. And here we see many active leaders who sacrificed their life for the nations, dedicated their life for the nations and they freed the Indian society from the colonial rule here. So in my next class, my dear children, we will learn what was the implications of the first world war on the Indian society and how the uh, these nationalism movements which got its momentum in the society all these concepts we shall be learning in our next classes thank you so much for listening to me